why the US Air Force is currently on a strategic buying spree for the Boeing 7478. And while it might look like hoarding, it's actually a high stakes race against obsolescence. Just this month, the government finalized a $400 million deal to acquire two retired 747s from Lufthansa. This brings the total number of 7478 airframes under military control to five for the presidential mission alone, including the two primary Air Force One jets, two new support planes and a third interim jet gifted by Qatar. The primary mission for these new arrivals is pilot readiness and fleet longevity. Transitioning from the current 1970s era 747 to 200 to the modern Dash 8 requires thousands of training hours. By dedicating one of the Lufthansa jets strictly to training, the Air Force can keep its primary mission-ready planes off the clock, saving them for the President. But the real priceless factor is the parts. Since Boeing shuttered the 747 production line in 2022, the global supply of components is drying up. These extra jets will serve as a massive parts bank, ensuring the fleet can fly for the next 40 years. Simultaneously, the Air Force is spending $13 billion to convert five additional 747s into the new E-4C doomsday planes. In an era where the queen of the skies is disappearing from commercial travel, the US military is making sure she remains the most powerful and protected aircraft in the world until the 2060s.